Hello again, everybody. We're here in Half Moon Bay, and we're having some more conversations with great, innovative people like Siddha Ganju, Solutions Architect from NVIDIA. Thank you for joining us today, Siddha. Thank you for having me. Of course. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to ask you and talk to you a little bit about workplaces and the younger generation and how things are changing as, yeah. as the new generations come into the workforce. Yeah. So first, a lot of companies are trying to welcome these new people who think differently, yeah. who grew up differently, who had different experiences. What can companies do to make workplaces more welcoming to both young men and young women? That's a really good question. And fundamentally, I think the younger generation is really growing up with, um, you know, we often term them as technology natives because yeah. they've grown up seeing technology everywhere. I mean, we grew up seeing um, static paper on the wall. These guys are growing up seeing dynamic screens everywhere, from buses to malls, everywhere possible. So um, I guess having the same um, component of technology in their workplaces um, would be really helpful. For example, at NVIDIA, we have uh, Carter, which is a bot, which delivers popcorn to your desk. So <laughs> Yeah, so all you have to do is just literally place your order with your exact specifications, how much popcorn you want, salt, butter on the side, <laughs> how do you want it packaged, and Kata will make its way across to your desk, and it's as easy as that. As a popcorn connoisseur, I am very jealous, and I will be going to but see you know, my <laughs> head of but HR. you know, the real question is, when does Kata start delivering beer, right? Yes. <laughs> when that happens, I will be asking you for a referral to NVIDIA. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so let's talk a little bit about you and yeah. your path so far. Um, you are you know, working at NVIDIA, very innovative, forward thinking. You're working on what I understand to be self-driving car technology. What has your path been like so far? Well, that's a really interesting question. I mean, I started off um, just being interested in AI and machine learning. And like most people resonate with, I started with um, Andrew Wang's course on Coursera. And um, from there on, it's just been, you know, onwards and upwards. And of course, along the way, I had amazing mentors and colleagues. Um, for example, even at NVIDIA, my manager and teammates are always motivating and pushing me to do the best. Um, and yeah, I mean, no person is an island, so you get all help along the way. Totally. It yeah. really is important to find those people who can help you yes. drive yourself and understand yeah. more of what you can do. Yeah, also important. understand what your interests are. Yeah. And that's, at the end of the day, that's the most important. I yeah. totally agree. And, yeah. and aligning those interests to what you do in your job, I think is critical. Yes. Um, and as we have this new generation come into the, into the workforce, um, what kinds of perspectives are you seeing them bring in that are maybe different than you know, the older generations who have been there for a while? I absolutely love this question. <laughs> so, um, I hear a lot of my friends, a lot of colleagues in the same generation as I um, tell me the same story again and again. And the story is as follows. So these people joined an existing team of much elder people. The existing teams were trying to solve a problem for months at length. The new engineer or scientist joined in and was able to solve the same problem within a matter of weeks to hours. Now, what do these um, fresh faces bring to the table? Well, first of all, it's knowing the technology through and through. And it's also a fresh perspective. So because of this fresh perspective, you can, you know, you can really understand what is really missing in, you can sort of um, rethink the entire process. As an example, um, I was a part of the CAMS project um, in NASA's AI uh, accelerator called Frontier Development Lab. So this is um, a summer-long effort to actually make AI a part of um, NASA's different projects. So CAMS is a project that helps identify meteors versus not meteors. That's important stuff. That's, that's important mm -hmm. in the big picture, but let's just focus on um, the tiny, tiny bits right now. So um, my work, so let's focus on the history first. So the planetary scientists and astrophysicists in 2010 used to, day in and day out, label these images as containing a meteor or not a meteor. Now, can you imagine how 
incredibly excruciating such a labeling task can be since 2010. It's yeah. 2019. <laughs> yeah. So quite a long um, time. Yeah. So with the help of AI and their incredible domain expertise, we were able to develop a computer vision based deep learning filter that automates this process. Now, what this does is it augments their ability to actually locate different meteors and you know, gives a sense of space that, okay, we're looking at this meteor entering into Earth from this angle. So maybe there's a bigger um, picture to see in there. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, the kind of AI perspective that we brought into the picture. And since then, we've tripled the CAMS network. So it's been great so far. And, you know, fresh perspective is always <clears throat> welcome. Yeah. And, and I think to your point, like, digital natives have, have just, yeah. they can get through the onboarding yeah. for, for instance yeah. quicker because they're just used to that technology yeah. and start to see things that's, that maybe weren't seen before. That's completely true. You know, um, I remember when televisions, well, I don't remember when televisions were new, but <laughs> um, I remember like seeing my parents interact with new devices, yeah. you know, for them, the learning, the learning curve is much bigger than for us. Yeah. And with new technology, as it comes in into even our lives, I see that, you know, the younger generation, like my nieces and nephews, they almost seamlessly understand what it's supposed to do. But for me, it's, you know, I'm kind of like being the old person here, <laughs> yeah. trying to understand what is actually happening. But I guess as time progresses, it's just going to be much easier and much more seamless for as the generations proceed. I totally agree with that. Yeah. And I see the same thing with my Gen Z yeah. siblings or yeah. you know, cousins. They just pick things up and they're going. I know, I know. It's I'm amazing. I'm like, why can't I have that? Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. Well, you have already mentioned a piece of technology that NVIDIA has to deliver popcorn and hopefully beer someday. Yeah. In five, seven years from now, what other types of technology do you think will be in the workplace that are in development or we haven't even thought of yet? Like, what's going to change? That's a that's such a crazy question. I mean, when I think of um, sci-fi, you know, I realize that maybe we're getting there, but I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's always a big question, and I guess incorporating technology like. Um, voice powered assistance. We never thought that this would actually be possible, but because of amazing advances in speech, in deep learning, we've been, we are there. Um, I don't even, like, I can't even imagine, but. It's hard as, to predict. Yeah, I know. But as a community, you know, we see like amazing advancements in GANs and maybe that's, maybe something out of GANs will come up. I don't know. It's, it's a big question. <laughs> It'll be exciting to see what happens yes. on it. So and you I know where it'll happen in NVIDIA. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it will. Yeah. Um, one last question for you yeah. before you wrap up. Yeah. Uh, somewhere out there, a Gen Z young woman is looking at this interview, watching us, listening yeah. to you. Yeah. And they want, you know, they aspire to be an engineer. Yeah. What piece of advice would you give that young woman right now? Okay, so I'm going to say something that was said to me a long time ago. Um, not too long though, but, um, well, it was as follows, have a goal, plan for it. And when you fail and you will today or tomorrow recalibrate. And I followed this through again and again, because no matter what you do, this plan will stick and you will fail and you will have to get up. And that's just it at the end of the day. I love that. Yeah. I like recalibrate. Yes. That's a great, the recalibrate is the that's best a great part. way to look at it. Yeah. Siddha, thank you so much thank for taking you. time out to chat thank with you. me. I love your perspective. I love what Glad. I'm going to come and get some popcorn from you soon. Absolutely. <laughs> and thanks again. And enjoy the rest of this great conference. Thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate it. Everyone out there, thanks again for tuning in. And we'll be back again soon. Follow along with us at Adobe or hashtag Adobe TT on Twitter. And we'll talk to you later. Thanks a lot.